Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play Folklore on the Sony PlayStation 3. Moving back over to Ellen now and continuing on with her story in this game. So I'm really, really, really tired doing this, so this should be interesting to see whether my gameplay sucks ass, basically. Chapter 3, Youth. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this should be fun. I don't really want to say what I suspect because, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if a game would have that kind of thing in it, though it's a bit extreme, I mean, you know, I don't want to say, I'm not saying what I think it is, but there we go. Um, so we need to head over to where the church is, don't we, which is back here, I think. I've still not printed off that map that I keep going on about in like every episode for the past like 15 or 16 episodes. I've come to the conclusion that I am lazy <laughs> and I cannot be bothered to print this map off and make my own map for this game. I've pretty much got the hang of where everything is now. It's only when there's been like a long break really um, between me playing this game. I'm trying not to leave it um, as big a gap this time because obviously I set my episodes to be uh, scheduled to go live so here we go, we found the church, let's go inside seems to be locked well, is there anyone round the back that we can speak to? <clears throat> I'm losing my voice as well which sucks um, I think I'm coming down with something actually I've not been feeling right for the past few days. I've been feeling a bit icky, so I do apologise. Hopefully I don't lose my voice during this commentary because that will just be really not good. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. Um, this is completely shit. So, um, yeah. Maybe I've got to go back to Harriet's house. Or maybe I've got to go to Dr. Lester's home, actually, rather than, than the uh, church, which I can't remember where it is. It might be up here. Let's have a look. Pub landlord's home, so that's not it. Memory serve. O'Connell's home. Is it this one over here? There we go. Get there in the end, guys. There we go. Who could that be? I really don't have time to. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I also apologise now. Um, because I've got loads of biscuits next to me like I don't know if you get them in the US I think you do like little biscuits you get when you buy tea or coffee in little wrappers they're like tiny little biscuits and they taste really really nice well every time my mum goes out or whatever she always asks for them and she doesn't eat them but she always brings them home to me so I end up with like a bag full of these biscuits and every time, I'm not joking, every time I finish them and come home, there's always more. <laughs> or she just passes them over to me at random points. There you go, here's a load of biscuits. And it's just like, oh, I love them, but I'm probably getting addicted to them, which isn't good. So if you hear some eating, that's probably me eating biscuits. <laughs> Need to refuel though, I'm feeling so tired today. Mm. 
murder. Intrigue. Why won't you tell me? That's my Ellen voice now. <laughs> I want to determine the truth behind this incident. I need to find out about my mother and about my own past. Who gives a damn about the past? Just who are you anyway? Have you come here to torment me? Please, stay away from here. I know nothing. There is nothing to tell you. Did you like my Lester voice? <laughs> I'm not a good voice actor <laughs> at all. Oh, hello, old shrew. What are you doing here, waiting outside? I can tell you what happened 17 years ago. But in exchange, I wish to ask you a favour. I cannot speak here. May we speak in your room? Oh my god, you want to go back to my room, which I can't remember where it is. Oh no, it might be sending me back that- Yes, automatic! It has been ages since my husband and I were able to speak frankly with each other. Long ago, we were an ideal couple. We had high regard for each other as medical professionals and as people. <laughs> but 17 years ago, something happened. Something changed within him. <laughs> oh Jesus, I'm making myself laugh. I could see it in his face. He was wrought with agony, but he told me nothing about it. <laughs> Without warning, he closed down the clinic. And we left the village. Something that happened on Samhain caused this? <laughs> In the week following Samhain, three people met their deaths. The village refused to look into the cause and did not send for the police. They did not want outsiders intruding upon the village. So even though you don't know the cause of this? I do not, but I am wondering. There is a boy who died suddenly. A boy with a terminal illness who still had some time to live. Perhaps Dr. Lester felt responsible for his death. No, that surely could not be. When my husband made a medical error, he was frank with me. So, if you ask what I think, my guess is that he must be covering for someone. Surely you understand why I'm telling you this. Actually, no, or perhaps you... I have heard about you, that you can meet the dead. Yes, I see. Can I ask you the name of the deceased boy? Certainly. The boy's name is Herb. <laughs> I thought so. Do you know him? Yes, I'm sure I can find him. This is actually really hurting my throat now, so I'm gonna stop. Hopefully you found that funny. <laughs> I was pissing myself laughing. Great burden. I'm excited to see the new world actually. The last world was shit. I didn't like it. It was so boring and horrible and dull and e. So I need to go to the pub, do I? Do I? Do I need to go to the pub? That's where the deer head is, in the pub, hanging on the wall. Chilling out, having a brew. Having a brewski. With his chums, with his other stags. 
stag friends, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Screw it. Let's let's go out. I don't think we need to go in here actually. I wish this game was more specific with what you need to do. Right, let's go towards the lighthouse and see what's down this way. <clears throat> oh hello. I guess it's this way then. <laughs> This door! Alright, uh, okay. Well, that's weird. I don't know why we couldn't have just went into the pub itself and spoke to the, uh, to the bloody stag there. Seriously, if this happened in real life, you'd just be like, What the fuck? It'd be like something out of The Hangover, wouldn't it? <laughs> Stag's jealous. He's got the glad eye for me. So now I'm me, me and this stag are suddenly this item without my consent. <laughs> it's pretty weird. Hello, small girl. Ah, adorable. Oh, so the next world we're going in is a sea world. Right, so we need to head over to the lighthouse now. This time it's pretty long winded before entering the new fairy world. Normally it's a couple of things and then you go in, but this one seems a bit more long winded. Dr. Lester! But why? Here. We're being sent back now. We'll be forced back. 
Yes. Right, okay, so now we need to head up towards... There's a cat on that rock. I'm guessing it's over here somewhere. A tree near the hut. Ah, there we go. We need to go. We need to go back and rest. I'm guessing till night, and then we need to head to the henge and use the picture. I would say. Oh no, we're getting another another little cutscene here. Dr. Lester! <laughs> My goodness! Oh dear. Everybody's dying? Seriously. Still have questions for that weirdo, Dr. Lester. You've read one too many fairy tales. it is. I've already said that. Oh, awesome. It's giving me the option. Nice. Medical records. Is that the right one? Yes, it is. Okay, I used the wrong one. <laughs> Oops. Question mark. Appears out of nowhere, materializes out of the darkness. My name's Keats and I'm a reporter. I live in the shadows. She stands there with her mouth open all the time. The villagers are all in on it. They're all bloody weirdos.
You shall see. What is this place? It's familiar, but so melancholy. Yay, a watery world! Well, let's see what Scarecrow has to say. Okay, well, I'm going to stop this episode here, guys, because it's took me, like, over 20 minutes to actually get into this new Neverworld. And then on the next episode, we shall explore this watery realm. So you have been watching Gadget Girl Kylie, and this has been my Let's Play Folklore on the Sony PlayStation 3. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time, guys.